So hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Karim. I'm coming from the uh, German VZG. Um, oh, of course. And um, I am responsible uh, for Lokida, which is a um, discovery software from us. And I got the opportunity and the invitation to come here and uh, show and demonstrate, or let's say, um, give you a short 30 minutes, or uh, I guess I have now uh, 20 minutes uh, introduction to our world, and I will do so. It will be a fast ride. I'll try to do my best to get a little bit an overview over our software. And first of all, I would like to thank you that I uh, was invited and um, I would like to um, say that I, I feel sorry for the complications in the time schedule for today. I was coming here by German Deutsche Bahn and they told me um, that um, a Weiche was defect, a track switch was out of order. So the train said to me, we will drive another way. We will drive to Berlin, which is funny if I would like to go to Braunschweig from Göttingen. So I tried my best to come here and hopefully it worked um, as well as good. Um, it was such a day of, you. we, we all know. Okay, so let's go into it. I would like to talk to you about Lukida Server, about Lukida RP, Lukida Clients, and Lukida Communication. I try um, to answer questions if you have some in the middle, or we try to do them at the end of my 20 minutes. Um, oh, that's funny. It's because of the display changes. Um, um, okay. So this is Lukida in the middle, and um, I would like to show you that, ah, I think it's an old PowerPoint version. Could it be that this is something uh, because I have animations inside and they are not shown here? Okay, I sorry. So nevertheless, <laughs> PDF has also no animations. No, 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 that's it's fine. Okay, I will try to, to have a look. So we have several interfaces and the main important is this one. I try to move my mouse to show to you is uh, to the MAC database based on solar. It's called card plus central, short KXPZ. And we have an interface to the my KXPZ. We have Paya and Folio interfaces and to our own database where we have additional information and several other drivers. I'm, I will... How, ah, okay, okay. Oh, it looks terrible. Uh, please have a look in the uh, presentation on the shared folder otherwise. So this is the RP version three, and then we have there our browser and apps attached to it. Um, I am, um, okay, and because we have the separation that we have here in RP, we are able to, uh, also offer libraries the possibility to use the API data for their own purposes. So we have two Moodle integrations. So inside the university, they have some kind of schedule for students uh, where they can order then their books related to the, uh, the university course they are studying. And we have a complete integration in, uh, in at Hannover where the RP is integrated into their website. I would like to take a fast look at those red points now on the server side. Um, this is the database. Inside we have a lot of packages. As you can see, you know those. There are about uh, 330 million records stored now. And we offer the possibility also for you, for WooFind customers or WooFind users, that you can have your own part inside this database, which is called my car XPZ, as you can see it here. And you can group the data um, as you wish and use it. And this has a lot of advantages. A lot of libraries have some kind of data somewhere in the cellar, which is not officially entered and they try to make use of it. So um, you can fill it by yourself and use it immediately. So this is a basic solar interface, which is working quite fine and nice and fast. And there are no delays as usual from the KXP 
uh, from the Pika world, uh, one to two delays to the Mark world is normal in our site. And here you can use it immediately because it's inside this. And if you are able to, and if you are able to, um, to use the same scheme, you have, um, I'm not allowed to walk. Um, the, if you are able to uh, use the same scheme as the main Elsevier Springer JSTOR data and you use those rules, so the same field names on your site, you are able to have it in a common uh, list and you can group it together in one common uh, search result hit list. So this is a big advantage of this kind of structure. This is also available for you. If I'm... Okay, if you move. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so next point uh, is the Paya and Folio driver, um, uh, which is uh, here. Uh, we have this since 215, of course, and you can see we use it for availability information, volumes, user account data, and we send their request, change of password, whatever Paya is offering. And we will do the same, or we are, um, we did it already. So we have a folio driver as well on Lokida's site. But in, in a first stage, um, we have the same kind of information shared, but we want to do much more information on it. So we would like to have an order history, user access rights directly with the, with the uh, document and several more infos and uh, would like there to have it better. Um, the main part is that we are on Lukida side developing the folio driver without Paya 2, without Paya. We want to get rid of two, well, Paya contains out of two softwares, as you know, and we would like to get rid of both of them simply um, because less interfaces cause less trouble and uh, we are um, we do not have anything against Paya, but if we have now the possibility uh, over the um, huge R piece of folio, we would like to make use of it. We are doing this um, uh, together with Weimar. They helped us a lot of it uh, uh, on it, and it was very nice and kind. So um, they helping us, and we have a lot of good experience together there. Um, if you have questions, please. Um, I will try to do my best within the time frame. Um, I would like to show you our Lukida own database, which is not the CATSIM plus central. It is our um, additional stuff where we have, of course, covers. And then we are importing their uh, local classifications of the library. So libraries do not always use DEWEY or uh, RVK. They have sometimes their own uh, schemata or, or um, hierarchical, hierarchical data. And we try to import it here. We translate it into German and English in order to show it inside Lukida. Um, we have a new scan driver, uh, which uh, is for multiple universities now who are offering to their university members a scan service. And so we have um, a, a Lukida driver. So this is the front end mask you see there on the left side. And this data uh, imp inputted there will either go to Imageware, MyBib eDoc, a lot of universities use this kind of software, which was unknown to me. Um, so then in kind, uh, inside this software, uh, the order will appear coming from Lukida without uh, manual work, inclusive uh, signature and stuff like that. Um, or you can use a mail driver so that the department will get the order by mail if, if wished by this. So uh, this was the server side. I'm looking on the watch, okay. And two more sheets for the RP3. Um, we are currently in the version uh, three of the RP. There are two RPs available, test and live, which may be used for purposes like this. The RP is documented on our VKAN board. We are using a VKAN for communication. Uh, the main advantage of this RP is that the um, user of this RP is only required to know, um, to, uh, to have knowledge about JSON. And he is not, uh, this information is not required as perhaps a lot of you know, we have to deal with so, uh, SQL, with Mark, Pika, Paya formats, uh, link resolver formats, and so on. So um, the big advantage of this RP is that the library is able to give um, an web agency the task 
go get there some data out of the Lokida RP and integrate it into this project or our homepage or whatever. Okay, this is the RP there. And now I will try to show you some more um, uh, live, um, not live, um, pictures on, on our systems in order to give you some kind of uh, information how it looks like. So this is the, um, the new system uh, by in Halle. Um, it's called LIT. And um, there's also the address uh, attached to it. And um, it's that's the kind of uh, look search engine. You can, of course, uh, adjust it in multiple possibilities. You can put the search field at the top. You can move the um, filters to the left side. And uh, there are a lot of other stuff uh, possible which can be adjusted. This is um, one example uh, on one uh, title data by by uh, bibliographic data is here and there are the items uh, attached to it and um, this is uh, this uh, well, almost the same as i mentioned using the rp uh, inside hannover so they uh, gave this rp to an agency and they integrated it directly into their homepage so this is a typo 3 homepage and the um, agency got our documented RP and then they integrated it into, um, into their homepage. Um, okay, so here's another um, detail level of what's then possible if you're trying to use it. Back to Lukida, we have um, um, as well new that we offer um, the um, a hierarchical structure of locations to the libraries, so they are able to have it um, structured and sorted, as you can see here on the left side, here are, um, let's say, sub-libraries in German Zweigbibliotheken, which are um, under the main library of the university, and then they have in this area 10 uh, more, let's say, main libraries which are not um, let's uh, called sub libraries so there is this structure then possible and this is um, uh, mainly driven by them by themselves they can do this um, inside an interface they can um, change those uh, structures whenever they want they can rearrange it and they can uh, they are able to um, put it, it inside this uh, kind of interface by themselves. It's documented. And currently, elf libraries are using this kind of interface to uh, do um, their location purposes. Um, just for information, um, not always a building is a location. Sometimes also a building level could be a location, so etage 1, etage 2 or even a shelf could be a location. So location is a relative a phrase. So you, you have to think what you can use with it. With it. And um, a lot of buildings use it then, um, or libraries with only one, let's say, street address, use it to group their uh, books based on other locations inside their library. Um, after um, this um, interface is completed, um, you can have a lot of information on the item data. As you can see here on the left side, it's, uh, I think, not really good readable for you, but you can have their opening hours, I don't know, messages to the customers, the library is closed today, and other important stuff which is really um, um, attached to the location of the building, and maps or stuff like that in order to uh, show it to your customer. Uh, to your student or whoever is using your discovery system. We have um, there, uh, of course, client interfaces to vScout, Bitmap, Google, and OpenStreetMap for the moment. Um, as I mentioned before, um, we are able to uh, integrate um, local classifications, which are created by the library themselves. And if done so, we can have a, a a facet field in Lokidas where this local classification is shown. Here are two examples of two libraries with and without numbers. Um, and then the library can uh, select the data based on their own classification. 
This is uh, coming data coming from our Lukida own database. Okay, so here are, oh, it looks terrible. I feel sorry for it. Here are some um, more um, screenshots of um, our uh, front end. This is a, a account page where we integrated a barcode. So um, users of the library may hold this barcode 39 against scanners or on the desk in order to not to take their personal library card out of their pocket. Perhaps this is easier today. We have there the kind of ordering from another library where we are able to cancel your books or whatever possible right now, change password or log out. This is, I guess, normal stuff you all know. What's perhaps interesting for you is that we are able to connect to multiple LBS. So um, let's uh, talk about Halle. There we got the task that they um, have in the login field, they can select which library they want to log on. So there are three LBS system attached to it. These are the currently three used, um, which are having an interface and they are on the way to um, order seven more Paya interfaces. These locations have uh, still um, OOS, um, Loan 4 uh, software. So they, um, they uh, told us there will be more um, switches to come. We are happy about it. So um, this is the Lukida app. Um, we are able to have an app because we, are, uh, we recoded our software using an API. And uh, these are screenshots of, of the app. Um, I just, well, I can show it to you on my Android handy. We got uh, two weeks ago Apple approval, which is some kind of important step. You, you can imagine, you know, it's not like you, you have an app done and you put it somewhere and it next day it is available on the App Store. <laughs> Uh, you get a lot of questions if you have uh, porn data inside, if you have, I don't know, Nazi data inside, if you have whatever, and you have to answer no, no, no. And uh, if the app is available on all regions on the world or only in Europe, or is it also available for Taiwan? In Taiwan, there is a rule. Mm, Okay, I'd never heard of it. And you have to answer these kind of questions and you have then to answer um, uh, of course, data security questions, and then, 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 after, uh, I didn't count it, but I guess it would be around about 300 questions on both sides, Apple and Google, Play Store, App Store, then you get an approval and you say, uh, and this is some kind of, well, you, you open a beer on this day in the evening if you got over this stuff and uh, so now we have Apple approval and we have Google approval. So now it depends on the libraries when they um, open their lips, uh, their apps to public. You know, they are actually still in the, what is it called, internal test phase. On Apple, it's called test flight phase. Um, these apps have um, much more um, features. It's funny that this thing is working. Um, it's a... Uh, a lot of stuff is not um, correct, but this is working excellent. So um, our apps are swipeable. I have a son, I have a wife, a, a middle house and a son, of course. And uh, my son is my app tester. You know, if he sees me doing this, um, he's laughing. And I say, why are you laughing? And he said, well, you're using two hands. And I, of course, and if you, if you watch it, um, if you see young people, they are able to do this like this uh, with one hand. I'm not able to do it. I I, I think I will get um, a crumb in my hand. I don't know. <laughs> yes. And um, and so he told me um, that it must be swipeable. And I never heard of it. And I never did it on every app in my life. I did not try to swipe something. But of course, these are... This is new stuff and we try to integrate it. So um, my son has, uh, or our son has a big influence on this. Okay. Um, well, I'm too old, I'm 54. And I guess we have to learn a lot on, on, on these kids, on, on, on the youth. Um, this is uh, our search history. We offer our customers search history, including the face sets so that you are able to 
um, reopen, including your facets, your, um, let's say, a search from a few days before again in a fast way. Um, here are only a few screenshots. We have um, a Merck list, so uh, a list where you have your favorite items inside and you can reopen it afterwards. And um, finally, I have to... Yes, and finally, I'm looking on the time, I would like to say, tell you something about how we communicate on our communication stuff. So we are using this open source tool, which is called Vcan. We can, but it's spelled differently. Vcan, it's a uh, tool and we, host, uh, we are hosting it on ourselves. Um, we got um, information that we are not allowed anymore to use Trello or Atlassian products until they tell us it's uh, DSGVO com uh, compatible <coughs> based, based on the server location. So <clears throat> we are using this board and we use it for multiple purposes. We document our software inside. We use it for tickets. Um, uh, libraries discuss stuff within these boards by themselves. We are opening it for hosts and uh, for news and showing them what is stuff, what's ongoing there. So here are some pictures, um, as you can see. This is a community discussion board. Um, it's not uh, luckily for me. So they have questions um, under themselves, which is helpful that they do not ask me, me or us all the time. Um, we have there inside this kind of stuff, a Lukida advisory board, so was wie ein fachlichen Rat, um, where Uh, they, they meet uh, each quarter and where they direct us how to proceed with Lukida, what are the next steps, what's, what's mainly wished, and they are doing these purposes, they set priorities and answer some questions to me if I would like to know whether I have to do it this or this way. And so we, I have currently a lot of open tasks as usual, but that's life, right? Um, software never stops in development, it will always continue. Um, um, everybody is free to join to this board, of course. So finally, I would like to um, tell you um, on current our projects we, we did or done. Um, so we cooperate with a lot of libraries. As you saw, we did a lot with Halle uh, in order to get their system done. Um, of course, the lines are not correct now anymore, but Uh, we, uh, for instance, uh, did the app development mainly with Weimar, um, the, uh, also the folio driver with Weimar, and we uh, did uh, desk selection tasks with Potsdam, and we are uh, currently looking for uh, more partners for more modules to come. Um, this is uh, how we proceed. Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, done. Um, if you have further questions, this is my mail address, um, Alexander Karim at the GBV.de in, in Germany. Um, and I can only invite you to see some live demos. Um, uh, in November, we are uh, offering a Zoom meeting for all of our customer, customers and, of course, for you. If you have some questions I would like to know, just come there and you're... Um, invited to join, uh, uh, just have questions or whatever, tell what you would like to know. I've, I'm finishing, thank you very much. And um, if you have any questions, please tell me.